Oh yes, ma'am. <laughs> Everyone here is so friendly. Hopefully these won't be needed. Uh, so I just did some Y crew, the traditional Muay Thai dance that all the fighters do before their fights. And I'm sweating. I'm sweating so bad right now. Now we're about to spar. So this ought to be interesting. Well, I've already tossed my cookies. Day one, I already threw up. This heat is ridiculous. Like, you, you have to stay hydrated out here or you're gonna melt. It's brutal. Oh, I'm insanely hot right now. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to relax and breathe. Come on, Andy. Because I'm dying. Come on, Andy. Oh, being encouraged here. I gotta get back in it. All right. Well, I finished my first training session and I don't think I was quite prepared. I definitely threw up maybe like 10 minutes into it, uh, but I kept going. I didn't quit. I kept going, kept after it. Alex helped me out. He refused to let me just keel over and die. He pushed Great me. Great job, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. So that was motivating. But I think if I get some real food in me and some electrolytes, then I'll be able to perform a lot better. Airplane food, I guess just didn't cut it. I lost so much water. Yeah, that was brutal. Brutal first session. Brutal first session, but welcome to Thailand. Welcome to Phuket. Welcome to Tiger Muay Thai. Cheers. This is for a website I work for, bloodyelbow.com. I'm basically going to be here for all of December. This is day one. And I'm going to be training the whole time, capturing it all, and then at the end I'll do a fight. So the people, super friendly. The weather, not super friendly. At least to me. Yes. How you doing? <laughs> Everyone's so cool here. Everyone here is so friendly. Like, this is awesome. I wasn't sure what to expect, you know, with it being such a Muay Thai part of Phuket. Literally on this road is like 30 different Muay Thai camps. On a down note, day one, and I've already lost and or misplaced my international driver's license. So your boy might not be driving out these ways, and if I am, it might not be on the up and up. That's all I need. That's exactly something. That's badass. I don't care who you are. That's badass. Only in Thailand. I need some antibacterial soap. Excuse me. Do you guys have soap? Like antibacterial soap? This is like for working out and to keep all the nasty stuff off of you. <laughs> bacteria. Okay, cool, yeah, cool. Queen yes, bacteria. yes, 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 yes. Okay. Do you have Gatorade? Ah, gracias. She's been so helpful. She helped me get my room. And she taught me that in Thai culture, whenever you enter someone's house or room, you're supposed to take your shoes off. So when she showed me to my room, 
she actually took her shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my hand wraps and that shirt I was wearing. Ooh, that's slick. Good to go. I'm up, I am heading to the camp. I feel way more hydrated. I got some food in me, some real food more than just airplane food. I'm expecting to have a much better session. However, there's, there's really no getting around the humidity. Like there's just not, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be humid, it's gonna be hard to breathe. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and do my best. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah. What's up brother? Right, Trade with that guy on the first day. Back for more. Back for more. I'm good. Ready to die again. Alright. About to get it in for my second session. Hopefully it'll go a lot better than the first session. It's still super hot. Still super humid. But it's early in the day. Uh, this class starts at 8 a.m. So it shouldn't be as intense heat wise. But I'm still sweating my ass off. Shout out to Nimrod Vodka. Buy their stuff. Just got some boxing sparring in. Uh, energy level's way better than, than last class, so there, there might be hope for me yet. I'm dead now. I'm officially dead. It lasted a lot longer than the first time, but I'm still dead. Man, they are pushing the shit out of me. Oh, it's, it hurts. It hurts real bad, man. I survived the class here with Alex. He was encouraging me the whole time to keep going. Anytime I get tired or feel weak, I hear, come on, Eddie. Don't hear, quit, Eddie. Don't quit, keep Eddie. Going, Eddie. <laughs> he's, he's been my uh, guardian angel out here, put, helping me push through, keeping it, keeping it moving. How was class for you today? Sweaty, but good. I love it. It's tough, and it's definitely kicking my ass, but I feel like I'm starting to get the feel for it feel for the climate, feel for the atmosphere, and I think it'll only get better.